I'm at St Pancras Old Church in Summers Town, which is alleged to be one of the oldest sites of Christian worship in England, to look at something very special. It's not the church or the lovely bell, it's something just over there. Come with me. Now, during a time called the Regency, there was a special architect called John Soane. For those that don't know, the Regency was the late end of the 1700s and the early end of the 1800s. This is when Prince George was somewhat put in charge of the monarch because his father, George III, had gone mad. He had an illness, but at the time he was perceived as completely loopy. You might remember him from the series of Blackadder where Hugh Laurie plays the Prince Regent and he's supposed to be a bit of a wally and um, greedy. Uh, but during that time, the Regent actually rejected the architectural wants of the man I'm about to talk about because he was so difficult. So John Soane, who was known for new special architecture, which was influenced from even ancient Europe. He would use examples from Greece or Rome to really change up London. That's why when you go into central London, you might see certain buildings which look like they've been plucked out of Rome. Now, he deeply loved his wife. Behind me is the grave, the memorial that he designed for her when she died. It's a beautiful thing to do, but there's more to this design than meets the eye, especially to us as Londoners. Now, he would join her here romantically. He would join her here when he died. Now, this design obviously does sort of cry out that it's not particularly English. You can see that there's intrinsic details that would make us believe he does take example from Greece or Rome or wherever his mind may have been swayed architecturally. First of all, he makes it clear that he was a man of means. At the top you see the pineapple, which is to indicate wealth, and below what you'll see is this roof held up by the pillars. But what's special about that roof? Do you recognise, before I go on, is there anything you recognise about that roof and the design of those pillars. So if you come over here for me and look at the monument from this side, here is the evidence of his son who died early being buried with him and his wife. Come a little closer for me please, Dan. And if you look in the middle where his son's name is, it says John Sohn Esquire, eldest son of Sir John Sohn, you'll see the ancient looking design which is so majestically placed in the middle there. Now this is just like his design of the Bank of England which is built in a Roman style which reminds us of the special feeling that Sohn brought to the city. But his legacy didn't just end with his architecture this would actually lead to something which is just as famous as pretty much any other London iconic relic or image that you can imagine. So in the early 20th century, a man named Giles Scott was walking around St Pancras Old Church in view of his grandfather's design. George, Sir George Scott, had designed what we know today as the Renaissance Hotel which you can see vaguely through the trees today, which is one of the more opulent and impressive designs within London compared to the modernistic buildings that are going up. Now, Giles was walking around this graveyard in the wake of his grandfather's design when he laid his eyes upon Soane's monument to his wife. Come over here for me one last time, please, cameraman. Because it was that design that spurred an idea within him that would create not just his legacy, but further the legacy of Sohn himself. And this was Giles Scott's design, the red phone box. In the 1920s, he pitched for the contract and he got it. And as a result, we got 
the phone box which is now worldwide it's on key rings it's in souvenir stores it's all over the world people buy this phone box to put in countryside homes if anything it's probably london that shows them the least respect these days if anything they're more so public toilets which is an awful shame it's symbolically placed by his grandfather's hotel you can see the majesty of the design when we're up close like this and it actually alludes to that fact. Come over here for me, please, Dan, and stick your camera in there and you'll see the old telephone. And down here, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, there's actually some books where one would have to use those books to find people's phone numbers. Your phone number would be in uh, a phone directory. <laughs> then come around here, you can see here where they've referred to it, this site is very fitting given that the St Pancras Renaissance Hotel was designed by Sir Giles Gilbert Scott's grandfather, Sir George Gilbert Scott. So little did people realise that the phone box that came out in the 1920s was inspired by a grave designed by Sir John Soane during the Regency period.